Hi everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us today for WordStream's webinar, the 20-minute PPC Workweek, how to make an impact with AdWords in 20 minutes per week. My name's Chris and I'll be your moderator for today's presentation. Before we get started, I would just like to encourage our audience, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, to please enter them in the GoToWebinar interface questions box, and we'll try to get to as many of those questions as possible in our Q&A session at the end of the presentation. So for today's agenda, we're going to go over some shocking yet common problems we see in PPC accounts. We're going to cover five guidelines for achieving success in Google AdWords. We're going to be introducing you to the 20-minute PPC work week. And we'll also show you how to make the most of WordStream's PPC Advisor and the 20-minute PPC work week. If you'd like to share information that you're learning during the webinar through Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or any other social channel, you can include the hashtag pound20minppc. Now to introduce our speakers for today's presentation, we have on the call Chad Larson and Tim Warner. Chad and Tim are both search strategy team managers here at WordStream. Together they have 10 plus years experience helping small to medium sized businesses navigate the search marketing landscape. Both Chad and Tim are WordStream, WordStream and AdWords certified. They're big time Boston sports fan and Tim's a proud father. Well uh, with that I'm going to hand things over to Chad and we'll get started with the webinar. Sounds good Chris, thanks. Um, and thank you to everyone that uh, is taking some time out of their day to join us. Uh, me and Tim are both excited to go over everything with you uh, this afternoon. So. We wanted to start off with uh, a couple trivia questions. And the first uh, trivia question here is, uh, how often do small businesses spending under 5K a month on AdWords do work in their accounts, right? And we just saw your, your guys' results, um, so we wanted to shine a little light on this. And the answer is 50% of them, we have a little technical difficulty here. 50% of them don't even uh, check once per month. 25% of people spending 5K a month uh, haven't done anything in the last 90 days. And one of the most interesting points is that agencies and advertisers really score the same across the board. And PPC trivia question number two. What percentage of AdWords accounts um, have used at least one negative keyword in the last 90 days? And the survey says less than 50%, 20% of people have actually never used a negative keyword, which is craziness. Um, and, and that's a pretty alarming stat. And I think we're actually seeing that, Chad, in, in that one of those poll questions that we asked in the beginning. Um, people just don't know what keywords to add in, what negative keywords to add, where to find them, what are the best ones to add in for my account, and how is that actually going to affect my account. Yeah, we're going to touch on uh, on both those topics uh, as we go through the, the rest of the, the webinar today. And a lot of our data that we're actually going to be sharing with people is, is through our free tool. And if you haven't used the, the, the performance grader yet, or if you have and maybe you did a little bit of work and you want to run it again to see if you scored better, absolutely 100% use it. It's, it's a free tool and it's a great tool. But a lot of the stats, a lot of the information that we share with folks, we're, we're pulling that information directly from our grader. Um, we, we've graded over $2 billion in just over a year um, with, with our PPC grader. So we're seeing information across the whole gamut of, of Google AdWords. And, and we're essentially able to collect data and, and share it back with you and, and tell people how it is, is going to help you and how this data is going to help you moving forward with AdWords. Yeah, and you guys are, are more than welcome to try it out yourself if you haven't already. Um, you know, we obviously have the link in the URL up right here. Um, it's really going to highlight eight key areas within your account. Um, one of the examples here is on quality score. And when you get the recommended curve and also kind of where your impression weighted average is, it's a great way to uh, really see where you are from a quality score perspective. We have a couple slides later on in the presentation that really talk about the importance of quality score um, in a successful AdWords account. So. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really a report card that, that quickly and easily highlights uh, areas that you're doing really well in and also areas that, that need some work. Um, and like we said, it's free, so I suggest everybody you know, can go to the website. You can see the URL at the top of the page. Use it as many times as you like. Great. So having evaluated you know, thousands of accounts over the last 
last few months and, and also the last couple of years, um, you know, it, the one thing that, that's clear to us at WordStream here is that, that the average AdWords account for small business owners is, is in pretty bad shape, right? Um, we see things like no conversion tracking, no negative keywords, um, very low account activity. Again, all of this coming from that AdWords performance grader. Um, but the biggest thing, when we actually reach out and talk to people, is that they, they don't have a clear understanding of, of where to start or what, what direction to take within AdWords. So you know, this is where we want to come in and where the 20-minute PPC work week is going to come in. Um, and we want to highlight these five areas that we know lead to success within AdWords. Um, and again, we've, we've looked at multiple different accounts, um, different users, um, and, and we really kind of came up with five things that are going to lead to success within your AdWords account. So we wanted to uh, go over those with you as well. Number one, I mean, we, we know PPC is hard. We, we know it's a lot of hard work. And in our study and our analysis, we found that the most successful PPC advertisers are leveraging additional tools, whether it's a third-party tool or a commercial tool or something internally developed like, like an Excel spreadsheet tool um, on top of the free tools that Google, that Google can offer you. And so to make it less hard, um, you're going to need some tools to, to give you a competitive edge, right? And, and by using the, the correct techniques and by educating yourself just a little bit more, you can absolutely make PPC management a little bit easier for yourself. Number two, and, and this is a, a pretty simple statement, but you get what you put in, right? AdWords isn't something that is set up and, and you see what happens and you, know, you set it up correctly and, and you're going get, to get the results you're looking for, right? It's, it's really, you know, as we look at the account activity levels within the grader, the number of logins, the number of you know, new and, and deleted ad groups, right, the number of, of new text ads, keywords, it's, we're just not seeing very high numbers at all, right? So there's very little activity, and that's one of the biggest issues that people are seeing where we need, you need to go into your account, you know, identify the right negative keywords, do some analysis, do bid management, right? All things that the 20 minute work week uh, really look at, um, and you're gonna get a lot more out of it. And, and keeping your PPC house clean is incredibly important. Bad keywords play a huge role in, in AdWords performance destruction. They can, they can drain out your budget, and I'm sure people have that issue that, we're, that are on the webinar right now, that, you know, they're spending money and not making money on keywords that are just not performing. Um, they lower your account quality score, which we're going to hit on quality, quality score and relevancy in a little bit here. Uh, and they make it really, really hard to, to achieve any success within AdWords. Um, and, and really advertisers that are pausing, that are fixing, or uh, that, that are killing poorly performing keywords, they use negative keywords and more restrictive keyword match types with exact and modified broad. Um, and they're far outperforming the agencies and the advertisers that, that really just use the, the buy and hold mentality, right? Which is just take your keywords that you started with and never make a change, never increase bids, never enter in new negative keywords, never introduce uh, new keywords that we're matching to but we're currently not bidding on. So by reporting on the same keywords month after month, rather doing something about them is, is really hurting accounts that we look at here. Number four, you got to have goals. Um, you know, in achieving success at AdWords is, is definitely going to take time. Um, and it's really important to come up with a plan, like a consistent plan where you have realistic and achievable goals. Um, it could be as simple as adding, you know, 15 negative keywords per day, right, and, and really getting into the search query data, right, or creating a new, a new offer that's connected to a new land, landing page, right. But we've got to have goals, and we've got to be able to measure them as well. Um, and I know, Chris, I think we have a poll question really quick just to see how people are setting goals. Um, so we just opened up that poll. So we'd love to get your feedback on, on how often you're setting goals uh, for your average account.
Cool. It looks like we've had majority of people have voted. Um, in kind of a mix across the board, right? So some never, some monthly, weekly, um, which, which is which is fantastic for setting weekly and monthly goals. With the 20 minute work week, right? We're going to help kind of lay out your work week and create this workflow that's going to simplify your process, but it can really be driven by your goals. Um, and you can really create your goals from the from the work week and and from you know the WordStream software as we, as we develop it. Uh, yeah, and you, you can have different goals, Chad. You can have one goal today might be to go in and add five negative keywords. Uh, if you're more advanced, your goal for the week could be to bring down my CPA from you know thirty dollars to twenty nine dollars. Um, so that there's all different types of goals that you can use within PPC. But again, it's it's important to have those so you know what you're doing with inside the AdWords account. So you have you have an end goal, I guess, is what you should be should be thinking of. And, and number five that we have here, um, quality score. I mean, it, it, succeeding with PPC is really all about relevancy. Uh, if you can remember when we were talking about the PPC grader before, where we we were graded over two billion dollars. I kind of like to say, you know, it, and the grader has only been up for about a year and year and a couple months. So I like to kind of say that you know we've graded one nineteenth of uh, Google spend in the last year and year and a couple months, eight months, maybe. eight months, whatever. Um, but but we found a huge correlation between PPC success and in quality score, and, and it really means that granu granular or, or longer tail keyword selection combined with relevant ad text and landing pages, um, in, in order to improve that click through rate and, and in order to improve quality score. So you want to be able to give the person searching a direct link to exactly what they're looking for making sure that the search, the, the keyword that they're using, is matching up with your ad text and is matching up with your landing pages. So it's a, it's a, it's a really simple idea that most people we talk to have an incredibly difficult time uh, mastering. And so that's something that we want to stress here that we can help folks with as well. Yeah, one of the things we look at on the grader all the time is just how big of ad groups do people have, right? Where we see people that have ad groups of 50, 60, 100 keywords plus that are all connecting, that are all linking directly to one ad, right? You can only show one ad, and if you have that many keywords connected to it, it's really tough to, to be relevant and be the right answer, right, that Google really wants. So we have a couple more slides on this. We thought it would be a good idea to, to dig just a little bit deeper on relevancy and quality score with you guys. So the first thing is you look at the, the PPC ecosystem, right? And there's really three components. We have Google, and we have the advertisers, and then we have the customers, right? Me, you, Tim, everyone on the call, right? When we, when we need something, when we have an issue, when we're searching for something, we, we go to Google, right? Uh, and what really keeps this ecosystem in place is the idea of relevancy and quality score. Right? Because as customers, we Google is going to provide them the answer to our question. Right? Whatever it may be, we can Google it and we're going to get that right answer. And how Google's doing that from a PPC perspective is that they're relying on the advertisers to be relevant, right? And we talked about PPC is all about relevancy, right? Are are as an advertiser, are you in a position to answer that question, right? And that's what Google wants because they know their customers are going to be happy and they're going to stay with Google, right, if, if they're getting results that are relevant and specific to what they're looking for. And if that wasn't in place, these customers would really start to, to go in a different direction and they would find a different, different source. Yeah, so Google is really rewarding people that have the highest quality scores. And the reason that people have the highest quality scores is because they are the most relevant um, in the eyes of the people who are searching. So Google wants to continue being the number one place to go and look for something, right, or to buy something. Um, and the reason they're able to do that is because they have the customers who come back to them over and over and over again. The reason that happens is because Google is serving up the ads that are answering the question to exactly what this person is searching for. Um, and that's why they're able to get there. And, and this is kind of how, how quality score is actually calculated, where the biggest, most important factor is click-through rate. And not to get too technical on people here, but click-through rate is essentially your clicks divided by impressions. 
So we're going to start talking about negative keywords and adding in new keywords and ad text relevancy a little bit further down the line and how that can affect your, your quality score and your click-through rate. Um, but essentially, if we look at click-through rate and ad text relevancy, these are two huge factors that are making up 75, 80% of quality score. And so if we're able to really improve that click-through rate, meaning get, getting rid of our irrelevant clicks and our irrelevant impressions, and maybe tweak some of our ad text, we can really make a dent in this thing called quality score. And by doing that, we're going to show you the next slide here. We're going to be able to get better ad positioning without actually increasing our budgets, right? Without yep. increasing our bids. Yeah, and like Tim was saying, right, if we look at this equation for ad rank, right, where you're positioned on the page, we can keep our bid constant, right, at $1 or whatever it is, right? We can increase our quality score by being more relevant, increasing click-through rate. We can actually move from the three to the two to the one position without investing any more in our budget, but just being more relevant, being in a better position to answer that question. So as we multiply positions, the next equation you can see that quality score actually divides your price or what you actually pay per click, right? So again, it's a great advantage to have a, you know, a bigger number here um, from a quality score perspective, which you're know, taking a step back is actually a number you get one through ten um, from Google with each one of your your keywords um, and so on. So an easier way to think of this equation is the higher my quality score, the better paid positioning Google is going to reward me with. The lower my cost per click, the more qualified traffic I can send to my website, and I'm going to over time eventually lower my cost per acquisition. Sound all right? All right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to get into the 20-minute PPC work week. I, I think we gave you guys a pretty good background of what we found and, and what we found to be important. And now we're going to actually show you um, the, the WordStream 20-minute work week. And, and it's going to take everything that we've learned and turn it into a plan of action for you. Yeah, exactly. And just to kind of touch on that a little bit further, with the 20-minute work week, as, as we're going to go through it here with you guys, it's not something that, you know, Larry, our founder, or, you know, our CEO, or me or Tim, or, or anyone here that just kind of developed out of thin air, right? We're looking at the data, and we're looking at the information that we've, we've had and, and, and how people's accounts are performing. And so this, these are the areas that we have to focus on, right? And if we can help advertisers perform better in these areas within the 20-minute PPC work week, it, you know, that's going to be successful, right? If we can make that easier, make it create this workflow for them that's going to lead to success, higher quality scores, which is ultimately, you know, a, a lower cost per acquisition or, or more deals, more business for you guys. Right, so the first thing, minutes zero to one, right? Check bids and budget. Um, you know, this is, this is pretty simple within the software, which, you know, we'll actually show you guys on the next couple slides. But you're able to see how you're performing based on, on conversion numbers, right? Based on return on investment. And, and it's really easy to, to do within the 20-minute work week. And it's, you know, the first thing that you can, you can look at within the work week. Yep. And step number two, uh, we're going to be pausing or, like I said before, killing uh, poorly performing keywords. And what you need to do is you need to look for keyword outliers in your account, which are essentially ones that are below average quality score or have a bad return in your investment if you're doing conversion tracking. Um, they're, they're often excessively broad terms like in insurance or, or weight loss or shoes. Um, and they, they really just drain your budget and, and they're incredibly competitive. And so we're, we're stressing here, look for some long tail keywords. Yeah, like in, in minutes two to four, this is, this is crazy. This is like an insurance policy, right? If all of a sudden we're spending tons of money on something that may just be too broad and may not be specific enough where we're not getting the, the type of traffic we want, uh, it really transitions into the next part of the work week, right, where we can perform keyword research, right, add promising looking keywords, right, set negatives from here, um, be a little more specific with your targeting, right, dive into the search query data, see, you know, unbelievable data within the search, search query reports, right really see how people are finding you, right? 
not just from your broad keywords or your broad match keywords, right? We want to find these long tail keywords that are going to lead to the type of people we want to talk to or the type of people we want to get to our site. Yeah, and we know 90 to 95% of people don't know where their C search term report is and, and how to target these these type of words. And we have and we have a, we have an amazing tool there that makes it incredibly easy to do, but it's so important to stay to stay relevant with that information, you need to be able to tell Google what I'm relevant for and what I'm not relevant for. That is so important to do. Um, which brings me into the next step of the 20 minute work week, which is optimizing text ads. Throw out, throw out your worst ads, right? I mean, the, the one that's gonna have the lowest click-through rate, it's um, you know, normalized impressions of, of course, but replace them with new ones or rewrite them. Try to be more compelling with your message. Try to use the keywords that you're that you have underneath that ad group inside your ad text. And so if someone is doing a search for men's shoes and I see an ad text that has men's shoes about four different times, whether it's in my uh, you know the top of my ad text in the URL and in the the extension, I'm gonna be clicking on these ads. And so I want to see my search in that text ad. That's gonna help with our click through rate, which is in, in turn going to help with my quality score. Yeah, I mean, with ad text, it's all about, I say it on the phone, you know, probably almost every day, like, we want to continue that story, right? Someone does a search, how do we answer their question? How do we become part of that story in their process on Google, in their process in landing on the right landing page, right? Our ad is a, is a critical part in how we're actually answering that question, and we know the keywords, right, that they're going to be typing in. So we're, we have an advantage because we can tailor our ad and customize our ad to that particular keyword or groups of keywords. Minutes 15 to 18, right? Improve campaign relevancy. Again, I touched on it earlier. You, you, you'd be surprised at the size of ad groups. Maybe some of you on the phone today have ad groups that have 50, 60, 100 plus keywords in one group, right? We have a tool within the software, within the 20 minute work week where you can split these up into smaller, more targeted groups and then coming back to write the right ad, right, that's going to capture that message and capture that search. Yeah, it's all about relevancy, Chad. I mean, if you think of it, how can one ad be relevant for 100 keywords? It really cannot. One, one ad, right, cannot answer 100 different questions. And so we need to be able to split these up into smaller, more manageable, more relevant type groupings. Yeah, and some people are probably saying this would take me forever, right? Or I could never, you know, what do I, do I need to have one keyword per ad group, right? It would, in AdWords, it takes forever <laughs> to do. Well, it, the thing is, too, you admit, it, it could take you forever in doing, doing it with our software, too, right? But it, it's, you have to prioritize and really think about what's important to your business and what, what message you're really focused on, and that's where you're going to take, you know, the 15 to 18 minutes to focus on those particular groups. Yeah, and in the last part of the of the work we care is, is run a report and send it to your boss or your client or your colleague or whatever and, and let them know how you're actually performing for them. Um, it's really important for two different reasons. First, by sending out a report, it reminds, it really reminds others that you are doing work, right? You are doing analysis, you are doing optimization and it's making yourself more accountable for the work that you've done. And it's, it's important as well to set the expectation with your client or boss that Achieving success, it's a, it's a long-term process with PPC. There, there's no you know, quick button to improve click rate. There's no one button you can say, okay, let's go from a three or four quality score to, a, to an eight or nine. There, there's no um, short way of doing this, right? It's continued action week after week after week, month after month after month um, of doing these actions that's really going to make a difference. Now, the beautiful part about PPC so yes, you can get immediate results, right? But to get better results and, and sustained results, you need to be doing these actions once a week, every every week, every month, every few months, right? It's it's continued action over and over again. Exactly. So this kind of brings it full circle. Um, again, we're going to encourage all of you to, to test this out yourself and, and really sign up for the free trial of the 20-minute work week of our PPC management software, um, but this is a great overview of what you can really accomplish if you have a you know, limited amount of time. Yeah, we're going to use an example account here. I mean, this, this is actually live data. This is a live account, but it, 
in order for you guys to actually know how to do this or see how you can do this or see how it's going to work in your account, you, you should absolutely sign up for it. It's a free trial and you can see exactly um, your information in here. And I think this guy in this account has something like $100,000 in savings um, you know, within his account, which is crazy. But you can see the 20 minute work week in action, right? You can see it analyzing your information and, and you can come in here and you can actually optimize your own information. And if we take a look at what we just discovered, right, what we just discussed, excuse me, adding in negative keywords, so important. And I think it was something, what, Chad, like 60% of people on the call are having issues with keyword research and negative keywords. This is doing that for you. This is doing that analysis. This is finding these keywords for you. The great part is, is that it's not doing the, it's not actually doing the work for you. It's not implementing it into your account. You can still make the educated decision if you want to add these or not. But it's doing the hard work, right? It's doing, it's doing that, going through search term reports and pulling it out for you. I mean, it, it's that's the great part about this, right? Is that you no longer have to do the analysis, but you can still do the optimization. Yeah, exactly. And and this is just for for example. You know, we brought this the screenshot up, but these are individual ad groups that the software is going to help you prioritize, and then you're going to be able to identify negative keywords from each one of these ad groups. So you can be thinking about that ad and what that message is and then see how people had searched and how people had found you um, previously and eliminate the bad, right? And then, then you know, bring back in the good. Yeah, optimizing keyword bids, it's, it's a really, really important part of PPC too. And, and many people don't change bids from the time that they launch their account until, until now that me and, she, me and Chad actually look at them with you. Um, and we are saying that, hey, Let's improve quality score for first. Let's work on quality score. But you know what? There's keywords in your account that are working, that you are making money off of, that have great quality scores, that maybe if we just increase a bid here or there or decrease a bid here or there, it's going to make a huge difference with my conversion and with my placement on, on, on the SERP, the search engine result page. Yeah, exactly. And then number three, uh, within the 20-minute work week, just on the home page here, is to add negative keywords taking the opposite approach from the, from the, or add keywords, I'm sorry, taking the opposite approach from the add negative keywords, right? Here we're identifying keywords that do represent that ad, that have had conversions, right? That's something that we need to put back into our accounts and become more relevant again. Yeah, so everyone heard me talking about pausing or killing poorly performing keywords, which we're going to do down at the end, but we need to replace these. We need to replace these with keywords that we're currently not bidding on, that we haven't entered into the auction market for. Hence, we're not getting credit from Google, and especially if we're getting conversions from it. And so by adding these new keywords into my account that we know do work, now we can start to boost the performance. Now we can start to boost quality score. And so a lot of people have trouble finding these and where to find them and, and just try to guess, right? Or, or sometimes even worse, use the, the free Google keyword research tool. But we need to be looking at real live data and, and how these keywords are performing for me, and we'll do that work for you. Exactly, and here's, we touched on ads earlier. Here we're going to identify an underperforming ad and then give you recommendations and best practices that you can put in place to make sure that it is answering these questions again and, and really um, identifying with the keywords within that ad group. Yep, and review and costly keywords, right? These are keywords that are below average in quality, so, so low quality scores. I'd say anything underneath like a five is something that you want to review, or if there's, if you're doing conversion tracking, which is awesome, if it has a really, really high CPA. So again, you come in here, you're going to decide if you want to pause it or not. We just want to bring it to your attention. We want to mushroom pot it up right in front of you so you can come in here and make that educated decision if you want to pause it or not. It's awesome. And I talked about this earlier too as far as like your insurance policy. It's something you want to know. A lot of times these can be you know, broad keywords that are reaching all different types of searches and you're spending just too much money on it. It needs to be more targeted and more specific. Yeah, and actually it's funny. We At the bottom of our alerts, we have a section called Wasted Spend, um, which is going to add up all this information sh for you, and you can actually see how much your account is wasting. And I, I wish we had it on this screenshot, but it usually blows people's minds. They, they, don't really, they don't realize how much money they're wasting on keywords that are just not working for them. So completely suggest just, just throwing your account there and seeing exactly how much you can improve upon it. Fantastic. So we have we have a couple uh, kind of 
QFAs are, are questions that we normally get or questions that we hear from people. Um, so we wanted to bring those up, um, and then we'll obviously open it up for your guys' questions as well. But one of the biggest things is, you know, will a 20-minute PPC work week really work for me? Yeah, and I think what everybody needs to do is keep in mind that we've looked at literally thousands, probably hundreds and hundreds of thousands of accounts, and we found that account activity for the, for the average SMB, small to medium-sized businesses, is very low in your average accounting. And, and really, in most cases, if you really just did work for 20 minutes a week, you'd be ahead of 90% of other accounts out there, just in terms of effort alone. So, so I'm not talking about logging in, looking at the keyword data and results where you're looking at click-through rate, conversion, conversion plus one, whatever. I'm talking to do an actual work inside your account. If you did 20 minutes out a week, you're ahead of 90% of the people out there. So effort alone is, is really the biggest predictor of account success, believe it or not. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, number two, we also want to say, you know, what if I have more than 20 minutes of issues in my account, um, which, which could definitely be the case, right? Uh, we're saying that from the, the data and information that we've analyzed, you know, we need to start. And 20 minutes is really that minimum amount where if we can get people started down that road, then it's, it's going to snowball into like, wow, I want to get better. I want to decrease my convert or decrease my CPAs by even more, right? And get more conversions, get the phone ringing more, um, whatever the case may be in your particular uh, account or in, within your business. Yeah. So just think of it this way: 20 minutes is a minimum, not a maximum. So just give it a little bit of a love every single week is what we're trying to say to people. Exactly. And if it takes you more than 20 minutes a week, um, we're suggesting use a tool like, like us, like WordStream, right, that it automates repetitive, time-consuming time tasks. Um, that analysis that I was talking about in the 20-minute work week, it, it's easier said than done when trying to do this in AdWords, right? Oh, you can say, yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to find uh, 40 negative keywords to add into my account. It would take you literally hours to do or I'm gonna I'm gonna do some analysis on my ad text and I'm gonna try to figure out what, what my worst performing one is and I need to rewrite that, I need to get more compelling with it, I wanna use my top performing keywords. It's gonna take probably an hour to do, right? So what we're saying is that for some people you might need a tool and, and we make up, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that we, we work with a lot of people who have those issues that we just went over and that's what we're a perfect fit for. Yep. And, and then in summary, you know, how to make the most of the PPC advisor. Um, like we said, with, with the accounts that we've seen, most advertisers' AdWords accounts are a disaster, right? Um, and we're not, uh, we're not trying to bring anyone down with that. We're just looking at the numbers. And it, a lot of it's going to go back to activity, not knowing what to do when you log into AdWords, right? Really designed for engineers, these, you know, these big companies that have teams of people managing their accounts, right, where we want to create a platform where you can come in and you know what you're going to get done. You can accomplish your goals, right, and all of your actions are going to lead to a higher quality score and a more relevant account. Yeah, and, and we went over the five habits of successful PPC marketers, um, what they're doing every single week, and, and we talked to thousands of advertisers and agencies, you know, so and so so-called experts every single week here. And these experts, they really try to do five things every single week across all their clients' accounts. And you guys can probably guess what they are, right? It's, it's adding in negatives. It's changing bids. It's adding in new keywords, right, that they're matching to. It's changing text ads. Creating and more relevant groups. Yeah, yeah creating more relevant groups and, and maybe weeding out some, some costly keywords. And it's this repetitive action week over week over week, which is going to make um, – Success, and that's the way we want you guys to think of this, right? Is that PPC campaign work? It's a recurring weekly task, right? It's it's not something that's going to be a one-off task. So we talk to a lot of people who come to us and say, "Hey, I I just want to use the software for today, and then I'm I'm done." Or, "Hey, I want you to do some work in my account, just a one-time thing. We're going to pay you, and then we're done." And and we don't actually work with those type of people because we know it's not going to set you up for success long term with AdWords. You're going to have to do that. Every, every three, three yeah. to six months is paying someone one off and you're going to get different people working on your account and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a mess. So what you need is just this continue week after week 
worth on your account that's going to make a huge yeah, difference. Yeah, and some of the numbers that we've seen from Google are, it's just staggering how industries and search terms and what's actually being searched for changes so often, right? Um, and it's something you want to stay on top of on a weekly basis. Uh, you know, WordStream PPC Advisor enables, you know, the, you know, the 20 minute work week, impactful PPC workflow for managing your AdWords accounts. It's, it's really kind of bringing this whole picture of workflow and relevancy and goals and quality score improvement and reallocating spend, right, into a place where you can be successful because you know, the, you know what actions to take. They're, they're going to be right in front of you. Yeah, it's, it's taken into consideration, Chad. Literally everything we've learned um, about what makes people successful with PPC and, and we're combining it into one central place for small to medium sized business owners. And, and I, we didn't even mention that, that the tool actually supports Bing as well. Um, you know, where you can save a ton of time if you're running Bing, which I know a lot of SMBs are. Um, so if, if you're looking for time savings and improvements in your account, that could be a perfect tool for you guys. Yeah, and I think we want to turn it back over to Chris to kind of, you know, summarize some of this and also field some questions from you. Um, we're, we're looking forward to your feedback. Um, most importantly, we're, we're really looking forward to talking to you. Uh, if, if you're experiencing any of the issues that we went over, or you're looking to kind of find out what can the 20 minute PPC work week do for me, um, we'd be more than happy to take you through more of a detailed uh, explanation and a detailed approach of how you can kind of create this workflow, right, that's going to be reoccurring and, and going to lead to success within your AdWords account. Yeah, and one of the most uh, asked questions that we get, which is probably actually might be asked in the question box, which we, have, you know, we haven't even seen yet, but how is WordStream different than AdWords, right? That's what everybody kind of wants to know. And, and we're essentially giving people alerts that you can do in, in 20 minutes a week, right? You can manage your account in 20 minutes a week and actually make improvements for it. Um, and some really powerful stuff in there as well. Uh, on top of that, we actually have humans here that you can talk to. We have, we have experts that you can actually talk to and call into. And, and really our whole goal as a company is, is to help you get more clicks to your website, more qualified clicks, I should say, lower your costs, and really get on with your life, which is either running a business or, or managing a team or, or just managing AdWords accounts or yeah. whatever it is. Um, we want to help you be more efficient with your workflow. Yeah, and hopefully, like, one thing about WordStream just in general, like, we get excited about AdWords and we get excited about PPC. So, um, you know, if you want just kind of some of that energy or just, you know, have that conversation, have someone review something with you, whether it's your quality score or your ad groups, um, we will bring some energy and, and hopefully get you excited about your AdWords account. Um, you know, and, and we, can, uh, we can discuss that further and, and hopefully you guys have some great questions for us. Uh, Chris, did you want to jump in and kind of facilitate the questions? Sure. Um, right before we get into QA, I just wanted to let everyone know we have one last poll question here. Um, and the poll question is, would you like a personalized demo to see how the 20-minute PPC work week can work for you? Um, so if anyone on the webinar today is interested in, you know, loading your account in and seeing those recommendations might be for the 20-minute work week, um, you know, let us know and, and we'll make sure that, you know, our experts here will reach out and, and get you right into a demo. Um, so we'll leave this poll question up, give people some time to answer, um, and then let's, let's hop right into Q&A here. Um, so the first question, we, well, first of all, we have a lot of people on the, on the webinar today that are, are new to PPC and um, a lot of people haven't even set up accounts yet. Um, so one of the questions we have here is, can WordStream handle my whole account? I don't have enough um, to even set up my account properly. So it, it seems like it's a, it's a time issue there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly positive of, of what the question is, but more than likely, yeah, we, we, can, we can probably help you get that set up and going, and, and you can talk with one of our consultants here, and they can give you some feedback on the construction of the account, and maybe it needs a little bit of restructure inside there, um, or if you're just looking to get started, then yeah, that's a conversation we can have with you too. Yeah, Tim, that seems like that question is, is more towards our, our managed services side, so some, so one of our, um, you know, experts here actually managing the account for them, you know, setting up, helping them set up the account and, you know, taking it, taking it off their plate. Yeah, those guys, those guys are fantastic, and if that's an option that you wanted to, to look at, 
um, one of our consultants. Uh, you, 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 Chad and I can have that discussion with you too. Um, if you wanted to call, email, tweet, Facebook, whatever you want, if you want to get in touch, we'd be more than willing to put you in touch with the right person here. Yeah, it sounds like it's a situation where you just don't have any time or, or knowledge to, to do the AdWords account or that, the work within the account yourself. Um, we have a, a great program from, from a services side uh, that we'd be able to help you out with. Our next question here is, and, I know, and Tim, I know you touched on this a little bit, but what different, differentiates WordStream from other PPC vendors out there? Um, it could either be AdWords or you know, another third-party vendor. Um, they just said that there's so many choices out there. What, what makes WordStream different? Yeah, you know, Chris, and I actually get this question a lot when I'm on uh, individualized demos. Not as much as you think, because a lot of people actually contact us and see their using WordStream or going directly into AdWords, but there are other PPC vendors out there for sure. And the awesome part about it is that we don't really compete with one another. Uh, most of them we we're, are actually partnered up with, um, where you do webinars with them, like we, we're doing right now. You do joint webinars with them, and um, it really depends on what your needs are, right? If, if, you're, if you're looking for a reporting tool, right, where you just say, hey, you know what, I just need to run a ton of reports, and, and that's all I'm looking for. Um, there's a company out there for you. If you're looking for a huge enterprise platform that is actually a lot more sophisticated than AdWords and Editor and, um, y and you, you have to do it across Google and Bing and Facebook and LinkedIn and um, you, know, you have two months that you can put into it to learn the system, yeah, there's a program out there for you. But if, if, you're, looking for, if you're looking for something that is low cost, which is pretty much what we are, if you're looking for a solution that is a campaign management efficiency tool, if you're looking for something that can help you improve quality score, right? We touched upon the importance of that. And if you're looking for a wasted spend reallocation tool, meaning that we're going to target the areas of my account where I'm wasting money, um, and, and reinvest that back into my account to get more out of the stuff that is working and less out of the stuff that's not working, then that's us. That's that's what we that's what we focus on, right? And helping you do this a lot faster. So, again, it really just comes down to what you're looking for within PPC or, or what your needs are with PPC and, and we, we, we refer people all the time to different PPC vendors if there's something here that we can't help you with. Okay, the next question here is how much should a small to medium sized business spend on PPC account per month to gain the best return? Um, and then another part of that question is someone, someone else asked if they have an, um, uh, more than average budget, um, what, what should their um, bidding strategy be? Well, both good questions, Chris, and, and I know you guys are probably not going to like this answer, but it's, it really depends on your situation, right? AdWords covers such a wide spectrum of businesses and basically any area in the world, so it's, it's really going to depend specifically on your situation. Um, as far as using our software, we usually have a minimum investment uh, with AdWords. It's usually close to $1,000 would be the minimum that you would you would still use our software um, as long as you're spending a minimum of $1,000 a month with AdWords. And then the other question was based on, was it on bidding? Yeah, um, it was, what, what should their bidding strategy be if they have an over the average budget? Well, for, for I, and I'm not exactly sure what you mean by over average budget, but your bidding strategy should be based on what's working, right? So if you have the ability to track back to the actual sale, right, or revenue coming in, right, you want to make sure you're bidding more, you know, on things that are working, that are giving you the right return, right, and less on things that aren't giving you a return, that aren't equating into new revenue and new new business for my company, um, and you want to make sure you're on top of that, you know. So implementing conversion tracking and, and using the right processes to see really what you're getting back from your investment, your return on ad spend. Great. Um, the next question we have here is, is the 20-minute PPC work week for one campaign or ad group? Um, and if they add more campaigns or ad groups to their account, will it take longer than 20 minutes? Um, well, let's just say this. So the 20-minute PPC work week is actually for the account. So it's not just for an ad group, one ad group or one campaign. So it's analyzing the whole account. Now. If we're adding, if we're continuing to build out our account, right, and we're continuing to add in new keywords and new ad groups and, and new campaigns, 
theoretically, yeah, right? I should be spending maybe a little bit more time in my AdWords account depending on the size of it. I, I think that's just, you know, common, right, Chad? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Um, the next question we have here is, um, what do you recommend when a campaign needs some changes? Pause it or lower the bid? Yeah, it's a pretty good question, but it, I, again, it, see with PPC, there's so many different variables that, and, and you know, I, I kind of want to say it just depends, right? Um, you know, if, if you're making landing page changes, then yeah, I'd probably want to pause it. If, if I'm just rewriting a new ad text, I'd probably keep it running, right? And then just switch out the ad text um, kind of on the fly. So really depend, depends on what types of changes you're looking to make. Great. Um, the next question we have here, we, we have a couple questions on, on keywords. Um, one of them is, uh, what is the best way to evaluate the performance of a particular keyword? And the other part to that is, how much time should you give a keyword before you um, rate it as poor or um, you know, take it out of your account? So on evaluating the performance of a particular keyword, right? Two things I always like to look at is how is my ad representing that keyword, right? Does this keyword, if this keyword's typed in and my, my ad is shown from that ad group, does that make sense, right? So first thing, think about relevancy, right? I want to answer that question. I want to be the best possible answer to that question that search that was done on Google, right? So make sure your ad is matching up to your keyword, and then you can take some some, the next step is to really look at the search queries, right? If you're running that keyword on broad match or phrase match, right? You're going to be matching on all different types of searches, right? So see if you can narrow that, the reach of that keyword by actually adding more long tail and more specific keywords back into your account, right? And then the, the second part of the question, Tim, did you, did you catch that? Chris, what was the second part there? Um, the second part is how much time should you give that keyword to rate it um, if it's a poor keyword or, right. um, you know, if you should remove it from your account? Yeah, so I would set kind of like a, a, a level of, uh, you know, spend, right? So it's like maybe it's $20, right? Maybe it's $100 of clicks and spend through that particular keyword that I need to get at least one conversion out of it. After I haven't seen that conversion, after I reach that number, be something I want to pause or I want to make sure I know what searches it's matching on from a search query standpoint and make sure I'm putting those keywords back in, right, to, to lower that cost for the more broad or, or more uh, general type of keyword. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, I think we have time. I, oh, sorry. Go I was going to I was gonna say, Chris, you know, if you guys want to really dig into some questions or, you know, if we don't get to your question here, you guys, feel free to call in. Uh, me and Chad will actually answer that number, the 855 number at the top of the page. Or if you wanted to email us, well, our emails are right there too. And we'd be more than happy to you know, sit down and, and really dig into this and dig into your actual account, like your actual data, instead of just you know, answering general type of questions here, um, which might be a lot better off for you um, with your performance than, than us just sitting here and answering these questions. Thanks, Tim. Um, yeah, we have one more uh, enough. We have enough time for about one more question here. But like Tim mentioned, if you guys have any additional questions, you know, please feel free to give us a call, um, or you know, we'll try to follow up with a blog post or you know, an email blast or something to try to get an answer to your question. Um, so the last question we have here is: It best to set negatives as broad, phrase, or exact? I'll take that one, Chris. Uh, I always look at it is setting negatives if it's a single keyword, right? So we're talking about one keyword. Maybe I'm, maybe it's jobs, maybe it's free, right? Just an individual word. You want to set that on broad match, right? So that way it's eliminating any, that keyword when it's associated with any other words, right? So I don't sell free, free shoes, but if I set free as a broad match negative, I'm no longer going to show up with, with any of my keywords when they're associated with the word free. And then from an exact match, it could be like a branded term, right? Or I don't want to show up for my competitor, right? Or, or multiple um, 
similar words or similar phrases that you just want to eliminate that specific one word, right, not multiple variations of it, that's where you use exact match from a negative standpoint. Great. Thanks, guys. Um, well, thanks, thanks, Chad and Tim, for sharing your insights today with our audience. I would definitely advise everyone on the presentation today to try out our free account grader if you haven't already. Um, you can run your account, your report at wordstream.com slash google dash AdWords. Again, it's free, and um, I really think you'll gain some valuable insight into how you're performing and where you can focus to improve your account. Um, Wordstream also offers a free trial of our software. You can check it out at wordstream.com slash ppc dash free dash trial. And if you have any questions, Chad and Tim's contact information is up on the screen right now. Um, we'll be sending a follow-up email tomorrow morning that will include a link to both the slides and video recording of today's presentation, um, along with uh, a nice infographic we have of the 20-minute PPC work week. Um, so uh, if you'd like to learn more, you can sign up for future webinars or access white papers, ebooks, etc. at our website, wordstream.com. And thanks again for everyone attending, and have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Looking forward to speaking with you. Thanks, Chris. And then I did see a couple questions around where can I find out what my quality score is. You can definitely do that at our AdWords Performance Grader, uh, the link we had up earlier as well. Um, and there's also columns and settings you can change within AdWords that anyone here on the team will be able to walk you through. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate your time.